So you made all of your money back on your first independent film, um, A Car Decision, which is something we rarely hear of people doing. Um, first off, where did you meet those investors? Where did you obtain them? And then what was the process like? Okay. Well, the investors actually already knew me. So um, being, you know, you want to, first of all, approach people that you know. In, in my situation, um, having you know, being an established professional, I was in contact with other professionals. And it's interesting, in the United States, um, there's a lot of non-traditional uh, investors that are very much interested in Hollywood. You know, and you'd, you'd really be surprised. And it's not here in California, you can go anywhere. You can go to like Las Vegas, for instance, um, or New York, or anywhere in the country. And people are very much enthralled with Hollywood and they like to be involved whether it's you know behind the scenes or not so you want to go to people you know and you know you have to have a, a background when you're approaching individuals who are going to invest in a project so it's like it's like anything it's like being a uh, I guess it's like being a, a broker and, and you're approaching someone and saying hey I got this great portfolio of stocks and I want you to invest in it because I, I can make you a return so a lot of a lot of this goes plays on the credibility of the individual who's selling the project and I was selling the project fundamentally and with these people I was very credible I was I was extremely professional um, they knew exactly what I was about and they they knew my MO they knew that I'm not someone who's going to be frivolous with funds but I have a very specific vision for a project and a plan on how to get them their um, a return on their investment so that's that's the approach I took which is probably gonna be a little bit different I think than um, some of the uh, people who are locally trying to make films. My, I guess what I would say is really use your own network first. S try and try and exhaust that before going to the traditional sources like you know going downtown and, and finding a production house or pitching your script at the AFM. What types of materials did you present these investors with? Like let's say you know you were a broker and you were going to show them your quarterly reports or something. What did you show them to to make them besides them knowing you personally and, and you know having an existing relationship? Well, you have to show them. Well, first of all, the the big thing is how much money do you already have in the film? So for me, you know, I had invested twenty percent of the film already, so I already had a certain amount of um, as as I said before, skin in the game. That's huge. That's really important because a lot of times you hear about. Um, uh, people getting money from investors and just being very frivolous with it and I, and I'm and I'm talking on all levels I'm talking about directors producers actors you know and so forth there it's really easy to be frivolous with other people's money and and that's just not professional and it's not the way to conduct yourself so they already knew how much of an investment I was making in it which is 20 percent and I'm looking for the rest of the 80 percent so a lot of this has to a lot of this a lot of this is dependent on how much faith they have in you as a person who's going to be able to deliver on a promise. So a lot of it does go back to personality and and having a, a record of being an upright individual. So that's a big part of it. Um, then the second part of it is what's the strategy? So what's the audience that you're trying to target? So in my case, Aukri Decision was made for a foreign um, audience. And what I did was I did research on theatrical sales in India where I wanted to release this film. And I gave them the numbers. I said, look, if we invest this much, it's a safe bet that we can get a return on our investment if, um, as long as we don't go over this amount of money. And if we can get a theatrical release in India, which we did, it was a national release, we should be able to make the money back as long as we're really smart on the on the flip side of it making sure that the um the distributors are actually giving us you know our fair share